Thank you. Welcome to Powerhouse Believers uh, channel. Thank you for visiting our channel today. Um, wow, it's so nice. It's so nice coming your way again. And it's been very wonderful being on the series on uh, uh, how the right way to choose your marriage partner. And I, my, I'm going to pray that God will help you not to miss out, especially if you are watching and you have not made a decision yet. God will help you not to make mistakes in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the last time we talked about um, God speaking to you through the audible voice. Uh, but this time, we're going to talk about um, being led by a prophetic word. Someone could give you a prophetic word that is from the Lord, guiding you on whom to choose as, a sp as your spouse. A prophetic word could also be used. God can speak like that, you know, to confirm to you um, the choice of uh, who to say yes to. Or who to ask, uh, you know, her hand out in marriage. Um, but while a prophecy could be given like that, uh, care must be taken that we do not uh, do it the wrong way. Care must be taken that we do not do it the wrong way. Because it can be abused. Someone could prophesy to you by the, through their flesh, not God asking them to tell, to tell you what they're telling you. And that's why it's um, well, we need to be careful to be sure that that's God, you know, talking. Not that someone is interested in you, and then you know goes through you know a, a servant of God to make you bring a prophecy to you, okay? Or a servant of God prophesying to you that God said you should marry him. Uh, that's even more careful. That's where we need to even be more careful, okay? So I'm going to give you a foundation. I'm going to lay a foundation. Uh, upon which you are going to judge you know a prophetic word because you could be in a service you could be in a meeting or even somebody can meet you on the road and tell you the counsel of the Lord that, and give you clear, clear cut direction God speaks like that please in many occasions God speaks like that but then if you are already equipped with knowledge you will be able to judge if that prophetic word is from God or it is not from God. I like you to, you know, first of all, a word of prophecy should be able to be such that can draw you close to God. Okay. Number two, it should strengthen your love for people. And number three, it should motivate you to fruitfulness in the kingdom of God. So prophetic words, once you, if, if you meet of these three, it's a prophetic with the words that draws you. You know, at times you can hear a prophetic word, you can be given a prophetic word, and you are troubled almost throughout. Yes, where God is trying to bring a discipline, that is understood. But when it comes to the issue of choosing who to marry, and somebody gives you a prophetic word that you are supposed to marry uh, brother A or sister B, and then from that point you are troubled, from that point you lose your peace, from that point, you are no longer yourself, you know, for one day, two days, and then it continues like that. Then you need to check, you need to check where that word is coming from. Okay, so a prophetic word that you hear and then it takes you out of, you know, fellowship with God is to be checked. Is to be checked. That prophetic word is to be checked. And that's important for us to know. All right. Now, what are the cautions that we're supposed to take when it comes to the prophetic word? First of all, don't go about seeking for a prophetic word. Uh, because if you are going about seeking for a prophetic word, that you will receive a prophecy. And that's what you're looking for. You can get it wrong from that point. You could be exposed to danger. Some people, if they want to marry, and then they go to uh, uh, a sangoma, they go to a witch doctor, they go to you know people with wrong spirit, and then they ask for direction. That's wrong because you will be led. Uh, I mean, wrongly. 
Anybody that does not have the Spirit of God cannot actually bring words from God to you. And if they do, if they do bring words to you, it is to, you know, rob you or to put you in a scenario where you will miss out at the end of the day. Because it's not just what you're hearing at the instant or at the moment, but what is the, uh, the, the, the end point of what you're hearing. So first of all, to be safe with prophetic word, don't go looking for prophetic word. If God chooses to use a prophetic word to talk to you, so be it. That's God's choice. Because if you are looking for a prophetic word, somebody can prophesy to you and then you get it wrong. All right? Number two, let God choose to use somebody at his own time to give you a prophetic word. Let God choose to use somebody at his own time to give you a prophetic word. Okay? Now, three, no prophecy from God will ask you to marry an ungodly person. No prophecy from God will ask you to marry an ungodly person. No prophecy from God like that. It's as simple as that because the prophetic word should not contradict the word of God. You know, at times you see in a meeting, maybe a servant of God tells you, uh, God wants you to, God is saying your husband is this, your husband is that. Okay? And then when you look at the person that they are talking about, the person is an unbeliever. So, how then? God doesn't make that way. Okay? Now, um, any prophetic word asking you not to uh, marry a true born again child of God because he or she is of a particular tribe is false or is not from God. So when a prophetic word is saying, Lizzo, don't marry uh, sister, sister this because she is from a particular tribe, is wrong. God does not, you know, uh, judge based on race or tribe. God doesn't do a general judgment like that. Anybody who is born again, you can be from anywhere. So long as you're born again, you are a child of God. You can actually marry anybody as the Lord leads. So, but where you begin to see, um, you know, people begin to, uh, prophetic words that begin to tell you based on, you know, don't marry this person because is from this part family or is from that family. If the person is born again, you can marry the person. So you watch out for those prophetic words. Okay. Then uh, number four, always confirm a prophetic word with the word of God. Always confirm a prophetic word with the word of God. And that's very, very, you know, important for you to know. It is good that you confirm a prophetic word, you know, clearly. Let that word, you know, uh, Align with the word of God. And if he aligns with the word of God, then you are right. Then you are correct. Then you should be in it because it aligns, you know, uh, with the word of God. Then um, another thing is that when you receive a prophetic word, watch out for the inner peace of the Holy Spirit. Do you have peace? Does the Holy Spirit witness to you and then that peace accompanies you? Where you receive a prophetic word on who to marry and you lose your peace, you must check. You must check. I've done a video on how the Holy Spirit can guide you, you know, on who to marry through the power of the inner witness. Please, I want you to watch that video. If a prophetic word is given, somebody tells you this is what God is saying, and you check and it doesn't align with the word of God, it doesn't align with the word of God, then please back out. Okay, take for example now, um, maybe your pastor or whoever, you know, tells you uh, the Lord is saying that you should marry this person. And since you started relating with that person, you have not married yet, but since you started relating with that person, you discover that the person beats you up, the person, uh, you know, puts you under pressure to have sex, you know, and you're not married yet. <laughs> Please cancel that engagement. Cancel it. Cancel it. Because that prophetic word does not match with the character. What the person is demonstrating does not match with the character of God. But then I must also 
you know, a Mercedes. A Mercedes. A prophecy can be given, genuine prophecy from God. But by man's attitude, that prophet, prophecy may not come to pass. Because of the attitude of man, that prophecy may not come to pass. God can genuinely reveal to you that this is your husband. And then as you relate to that particular person, your character can stop the man from not going ahead. And that's very simple. So check every prophetic word with the word of God. Okay? Now, and I need to also say this, that don't feel condemned or don't become afraid when you are not obeying a prophetic word that you have judged and saying that God is not in it. Don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated by, because of who gave the prophecy or the class of the person that gave the prophecy. Don't because of that and then conclude that, okay, you will need to, uh, you're under, you know, fear that because you need to respect the man of God, you may just have to stay in that relationship. Please don't do that. It's not the man of God that is going to get into that marriage. You are the one. So if a prophetic word is given, but you see in that relationship, you don't have peace. You are seeing things that is not healthy for a healthy marriage. Please, don't condemn yourself when you back out. Because the greatest confirmation it should be the one that is coming. The witness or the confirmation should be the one that you are, you have come with. That you have come to understand that that's God's way. That's the greatest. Any other external word, maybe a prophetic word, uh, a dream or whatever, the one that you stay with confidently, that you have peace with, is the one that overrules or overrides others. So prophetic words are key. God can use you know, prophetic words to talk to you, and but you must be careful that this actually are uh, uh, you don't get out of hand when you are given a prophetic word. Is it possible to be given a prophetic word and for uh, two years, three years, it does not come to pass? Yes, it's possible. God can even speak to you ahead of time. Ahead of time. You could, you could clearly know this is the direction you're going to go when it comes to marriage. And um, maybe in a, in a short while it has not come to pass. And surely. So when you're given a prophetic word, you're given an assignment to go and pray. You pray for that word to come to pass. That's what you do with prophecy. Don't just say, uh, God has uh, spoken to you about uh, uh, the, the man to marry. The man is always going to be, is somebody that's going to be working in, a, in, a, in the oil company. And so you go and sleep. If you go and sleep and you don't pray, another person will marry that man. And you will not be the one to marry that man. So prophetic words doesn't mean that, okay, you take it and then you go and start sleeping. No, you take it and you pray. Paul, 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 you know, uh, 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 um, want, you know, Timothy. He said, because by, by virtue of that particular, you know, uh, uh, prophecy that has been given to you by the laying on of hands. He said, those things that have been released unto you. He said that you should go and war, go and fight until they come to pass. It's very, very important, sisters and brothers. Don't just relax. A prophetic word must have, must have, may have been released that your husband is within the fellowship where you are, the church where you are, and yet you may not marry the person because you, you refuse to, 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 to pray through until the prophetic word becomes established. So when you receive a prophetic word, pray about them. When you know they are from God, Pray about them until they come to pass and walk towards them. Because if God is releasing a prophetic word, that does not mean that God is going to, not also going to be talking about the, the lady. Because if God is talking to you through prophecy that you are going to marry a particular person, you must also build yourself also. So that it, you can conform to some of the things that, that, that the, person, uh, the Lord is also doing in the person to use as a confirmation that you are the one. Okay? So that's important for us. So, um, I pray for you that the God of heaven will guide you and will show you directions. And also that you may be uh, giving prophetic words concerning who to marry and you will not miss out. 
Most times God use you know his, his servants to do that so that it will be an added you know confirmation to your life. So I want you also to watch out for that. But please don't go about asking someone to give you prophecy on who to marry. Don't go and look for it. Because you can be uh, you can force somebody to prophesy to you by the flesh. The Lord keep you. The Lord bless you. I'm going to be come up with more series, you know, in the next episode. But all I need you to do is that when you are watch this thing, please share with others. If you're already married, you don't, you may not need this now, but please, there's someone who is battling with the decision to choose who to marry. And most of our girls, they do not even know how to choose. They do not know. Please share with them. Share with all teenagers. Share with those who are in the, in the uh, NYC. Share with those who are in the university. Share with everybody. Let them know that, that truly God guides and God can show you, you know, uh, who to marry through uh, prophetic words. The Lord bless you.